Hi everyone, I'm your friendly neighborhood astrologer Matthew Curry, back here again with the tube of astrological knowledge plugged into my head. Unplugged. Plugged. Unplugged. Plugged. Today I'd like to talk to you about the role of the north and south nodes uh, in astrology, specifically in 2022. And uh, first of all, I don't talk nearly as much about the nodes as I probably should. Uh, that's because when you are writing for part of your living, you kind of put it to you this way. Suppose someone comes up to you and says, you know, what's this Romeo and Juliet thing I've heard of? Uh, then, you know, you can say something like, well, it's a play by William Shakespeare about these two teenagers who fall in love, but uh, they're from feuding families, so it gets complicated. You don't have to bust out the junior high essay about everything in Romeo and Juliet. And although everything in astrology is like real life, it can get very complicated, um, the nodes are a little inherently more... Hmm, how do I put this? They're not like Mars. It rules your temper and your sex drive and uh, cutting implements and setting fire to things. Um, but the nodes kind of rule more vague hand-wavy stuff. That's probably why I'm waving my hands a lot today. Um, the north node, and the nodes are always opposite, the north node enters uh, Taurus on January 18th this year, and it spends uh, about a year and a half there. And uh, the south node at the same time, always exactly opposite the north node, enters Scorpio. Now, um, the nodes are connected, obviously, being opposite each other, but they have um, distinct, distinctly different roles, uh, depending largely on where those they fall in your birth chart, what house they're in, uh, major aspects from other planets. The south node, for example, uh, has a lot to do with, quote-unquote, the karma you come into this life with, either good or bad. I try not to talk too much about karma because I don't want to set myself up as a guru or something. But it can also have a lot to do with, uh, uh, it can even have something to do with genetic disorders. Uh, it can uh, be connected to uh, deeply ingrained habits. Like, for example, um, you know, let's say there's a pandemic going on and the weather's been really bad. So you haven't gone out for three or four days and you're still wearing the same t-shirt that you wore when you recorded a video three days ago and you... Uh, Sorry, back in a second. Whereas the North Node, in theory, represents the karma you're supposed to be uh, grasping after, uh, what it is you're supposed to be achieving in this lifetime. Now, uh, both descriptions are really oversimplified, um, but think of it this way. A lot of the ancient te texts um, call the North Node and the South Node the dragon's head and the dragon's tail. So think of the dragon's head, the North Node, as um, all the karmic lessons you're supposed to be eating up this lifetime. And think of the South Node, the uh, uh, dra the dragon's tail, as kind of it poops out the old karma and propels you along. Great imagery, I know. Anyway, it's a bit like that. Uh, as with any other transit, your mileage may vary based on the details of your birth chart, but I would like to uh, point out two very important things. Uh, that the nodes are going to be doing. And here's the graphic. Now, first of all, in around April, May, you'll notice all these lines coming together. Uh, that green one is Neptune. We can ignore that for our purposes. But the node, that diagonal line there, uh, it is crossing over Saturn's line. Now, what that means is that the north and south node will be square Saturn. Or if you prefer, Saturn will be squaring the north node and south node. And what that means as far as larger karma for a society, it kind of means that there's going to be a breaking of patterns. Um, I think we could use that, couldn't we? Uh, not necessarily terrible breaking. Often it's necessary breaking. Again, I don't want to set myself up as any kind of expert on what karma has to say for you. But uh, some patterns need to be broken. And I do think that April, May in particular, uh, this year we're going to be seeing a lot of that happening in society and in our personal lives as well. And now there's the second event here coming up for uh, really roughly speaking July, August, and September when Saturn square Uranus is still in effect. And I, I know, I know the last exact hit of Saturn square Uranus was 
last month. Um, it's still going to be in effect off and on for much of 2022, even if it doesn't hit the exact degree again. It's, it's sort of like, how do I put this? Uh, Saturn square Uranus was just a really lousy aspect for people, either as individuals or as a society, getting their act together. And it's kind of like, imagine now, even though the exact hit of that is behind, imagine you're out enjoying a, um, a lovely summer vacation with some of your friends in a cabin at Camp Crystal Lake. And, you know, you think, okay, it was a rough year behind, but we're together now, everything's good. No one believes those crazy stories about the guy with the, se the hockey mask that used to hang out here anyway. So let's just have a good time and... Wait, wait, wait a second, where did Dave and Mandy go? They were supposed to go get firewood. That should have taken two minutes. That was an hour ago. Um, well, let's all wander out individually, one or two at a time, and go in separate directions and look for them. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, now that second hit... Uh, that I was talking about in the summer. That's when the North Node is going to be conjunct Uranus. And that does indicate uh, a general... a striving towards new and creative ways to be and to interact with each other and the world. And I really think that's a good and necessary thing. So even though we're talking about Saturn square Uranus, even though we're talking about karma, even though we're talking about breaking things, uh, I actually think that this is a real opportunity for us all to be better people. Or possibly just hide the evidence better, if that's your thing. But I'm really urging you to try and be better people to yourselves and to each other. And, you know, as with any other aspect, it's like a weather forecast. You can learn to work with it or not, and that's okay. So hey, uh, you got any questions, drop me a line. Nice seeing you all again. Next video, new t-shirt.